Top Talkers, this morning, please welcome from CTV, Michael O'Burns here. Good day, sir. How are Good you? Good to see you. John right. Brenner from CFRA. Morning. And all those other stations up there. <laughs> yes, <laughs> four of them. And Melanie Adams from Bob FM. Hi. Hi. How are you? Good, how are Everybody you? have a good weekend. Yeah. Indeed. Wonderful. Yes, yes, yes. Wonderful. Yes. Lots of Christmas shopping. I didn't realize until this morning, but uh, today is the 20th anniversary of texting. Wow, I started texting about a year ago, so <laughs> I'm way behind the time. <laughs> but was it really a bona fide text? I don't know. Because it started from a PC and it went to a mobile device. And I yes, always thought right. that to be a real text, it had to go from one mobile device to another mobile. Why really? do you hate fun? I, <laughs> I didn't realize there was a definition to I am the, the Grinch stealing Christmas. Yes, I had no idea Good there job. was a definition. Yes. Yes. Uh, and the first text, uh, uh, it was Merry Christmas, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. That was the first one sent out. Mm -hmm. And the explosion has gone on from there. Mm -hmm. What do you make of the texting world? And I know you're basically catching on or, or starting yeah. to use different technology, right? Well, yeah, but the, the texting thing I, I, I really didn't use up until about a year ago. And when I discovered it, I thought, wow, this is really neat. And then somebody said, you know, had you started a long time ago, it wouldn't have cost you anything either. Because <laughs> texting was free for years what? and years and years. Yeah. And then uh, the wireless companies kind of caught on. Hey, we can make some money hey, on wait this. Wait a and second. What was it, John, a year or two ago that uh, they started charging? Well, Rogers they, and Bell? And well, what's happened is now with the, with the smartphone technology, mm -hmm. they've, they've been able to have these structured packages, yeah. tiered packages. So, you know, depending on what kind of budget mm -hmm. you're on, you can get basic service it includes texting or you can mm -hmm. get expanded where you can send all you eat and receive all you can eat that type of thing mm. so yeah but it's it is about revenue stream yeah do you find uh like i have significantly made less phone calls in the last five yeah. years than oh, I yeah. ever and yeah. i mean the best yeah. thing is is if you're you know, you've got a message from, if you're talking to someone on the phone, they can tell when you're lying. If I say in a text message, <laughs> oh, I'm just about to go in the grocery store as I'm sitting on my couch yeah. eating potato chips, but they don't know. The, there, the other side to that is you may mean something, and in a text Ooh. it can turn out to be uh, taken as something entirely different. That's a That's danger true. of black and white, eh? That's right? a danger yeah, of black and white. Right, and that happens a lot, I'm sure, uh, uh, especially between members of the opposite sex. Yes, mm -hmm. yeah, there have been some problems. Yes. Any experience there? Uh... I'm sure. <laughs> but I'm old enough I don't have to remember. Um, I'm also point. having more conversations with my kids now. Yeah. And that's because what I was just going to yeah. bring up. You yeah. may be uh, talking less on the phone, which I was never a big fan of anyway, but I think you're in contact with more people on a more regular basis mm -hmm. because texting is available to you and yeah. it's yeah. quick and it's yeah. easy yeah. and you can do it whenever you have a second, not, yeah. you know, you don't have to stay on the phone. If you're somewhere loud, if you're at a club or a restaurant, it's way easier to text than to be like, hey, 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 to yeah. the phone. Yeah. Yeah. And with your kids, it's, it's kind of a safety thing, too. Yeah. Yeah. I know we got our kids' phones when, when they were young because you just kind of wanted to keep in touch. Yeah, and, that's uh, right. Yeah. When Michael, uh, and John, and I were at the club the other night, that's all we were doing was yeah. texting. Yeah. Thanks for inviting me. <laughs> <laughs> it's um, kind of a moronic thing for me, too, because I was having a very long text conversation with my son the other day, Yeah. and then he came up from downstairs and said, what do you mean by that? <laughs> <laughs> <Nice>. <laughs> the other thing we wanted to mention today is, um, uh, announced last night that the Amazing Race Canada is going to start yes. Up, yes. Uh, being produced by uh, CTV and, and uh, Bell Media mm -hmm. uh, in the uh, not too distant future, I would assume. What do you make of that? Well, first of all, I'd like to throw my name out there to host it. Uh, me too. <laughs> you too? Yeah, I already did. We'd be, you already, we'd be, me too. Yeah, but Ben Mulrooney got it. It's no big deal. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I think it's wonderful. For me, the only thing that would be better is if they uh, did a Canadian uh, version of Survivor. Because yeah. I love Survivor mm -hmm. and I love The Amazing Race. Yeah. And what's really neat about The Amazing Race is I've been fortunate enough to travel to a lot of places around the world. So it's really fun to see all these competitors go to a lot of these places that I've been to and other places that I'd like to go to. It's, yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's one of those shows that you imagine yourself mm -hmm. doing and, and yeah. you know thinking about how, how well you'd do. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Would you do well at something like this, John? I think I'd enjoy the experience, but I, I'd probably be finishing dead last in some locales. <laughs> right. but, uh, like if you, if you, you know, if you put me somewhere up in the territories, or uh, you, know, you know what I, the, the idea I like here is that this is probably going. You know, we're we're very I find Canadians uh, sometimes ignorant of our geography. Right. Only because uh, if anything, we're such a huge country. And a lot of people have never been to right. anywhere outside of their small orbit. True enough. So I think I think this is going to be a, a good thing. I think it'll expand our domestic horizons. Are you worried that it'll be another Canadian show um, 
that's a takeoff from an American idea that doesn't quite stack well, up? Well, it's funny you should say that because when I saw the headline, I hadn't read the story yet, I said, ha ha, wouldn't it be funny if they only traveled in Canada? And sure. <laughs> and that's what you're doing. Yeah. I can't well, wait to see how it goes, you know, yeah. coming through Port Hope on the Greyhound. <laughs> now, I wonder if Phil <laughs> will. <laughs> what? What? So where? You know, coming through Port Hope on the Greyhound bus. Yeah. I assume they're going to take Greyhound. Yeah. Oh. That's, yeah. that's going to end up being a 50 episode show. <laughs> oh, to, what do they do now? Uh, how many episodes is it? Is oh, I don't know. It's like 13 or 14 or something like that. I can't remember. Now, do you think oh. Phil is going to come up and uh, do the inaugural show? Or no! At least, at least kick it off? Michael O'Byrne and I are fighting it out to host that one. <laughs> that's right. That's the way it that's goes. It. Actually, it Let's be get a Twitter fight. campaign going, a Facebook like campaign that. going. Yeah. I like that. You could do yeah. a celebrity boxing thing to determine who hosts Look Canadian. at the size of them. What chance do I have? <laughs> aim low. Just aim low. Aim low. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, you guys. <laughs>